hello people welcome back to my channel my name is Ola and if you're new here thank you for stopping by um, today we're going to be making this top which features the peplum the balloon sleeve and also the bow tie collar and I made this top with just two yards of fabric the tutorial will be detailed from the cutting of the fabric to the sewing of the fabric so you might want to watch till the end without further ado let's just jump right into our project I will be using my basic bodice pattern and my sleeve pattern for this top. If you've not seen the video of how I made the bodice pattern, I'm going to put the video in the description box down below. So I'll start by cutting the pattern from the waist and remember to tape it back after cutting because you will need it for other projects. I did not add any sewing allowance when I was drafting the pattern. So I'm going to add all my sewing allowances on the fabric. I'm using two yards of fabric for this top. So I folded my fabric into two. And at the edge of the fabric, I'm going to place the front pattern. I'm also going to place my back pattern beside the front pattern. Make sure you have enough sewing allowance for both sides. Pinning my pattern to my fabric will help secure both together and this will help me to cut properly. We can start adding the seam or stitch allowance. I'm adding half inch seam allowance to the waistline, half inch to the side, half inch to the shoulder, the ammo, and also the neck. Make sure to use your measuring tape and your curve ruler if you're a beginner. If you don't have a curve ruler, you can just measure it and just draw it out with your hand. Go ahead and cut it out after putting all your seam allowances. We are also going to add seam allowance to the back. But at the back, I'm going to measure the zipper allowance to be 1 inch. So that's what I'm measuring now. And I'm going to use my straight ruler to draw it. Then I'm going to add half inch allowance to the other side, which is the waistline, half inch on the waistline, half inch on the side, half inch on the shoulder, the neck and the ammo. I'm extending that leg then I'll cut it out. Because I want a bow tie collar I have to create an opening for the front pattern. So I folded my front pattern and I'm going to mark one inch downwards for the opening of the bow tie collar. Then I cut it like so. Remember I cut the shoulder to waist measurement and that is what I cut out for the upper part of the top. I used an half circle to make this top. We're going to do some minor mathematics here which we'll use to cut our peplum. We will be using two measurements to cut the peplum. For the first measurement, we divide our waist circumference by 3.14. We'll add 8.5 inches that we cut off from the bodice pattern plus 2 inches sewing allowance. We'll call this measurement A and measurement B will be your waist circumference divided by 3.14. We can now go ahead and cut our half circle for the peplum. 
first we fold our fabric into two like this and start marking measurement B first all the way Then I went on to mark measurement A, then I cut it. Make sure you mark it close to each other so that it will be easier for you to cut it. Connect the marks, then cut the fabric out. To cut the color, I place my fabric on fold just like this. The length of the color and the wideness depends on you. So you can make it as long as you want and as wide as you want. I measured one inch at the edge of the fabric for the zipper opening. And I also went ahead to measure eight inches. These eight inches will be the part that I'm going to stick to the neck of the fabric. Then I went ahead to measure 2 inches for my width as I said earlier. Then I marked with the straight ruler and cut it out. I also cut the end of the collar diagonally just to give it a nice shape when I tied the bow. To cut our balloon sleeve, we'll fold the fabric into two because we'll be cutting two sleeves. Then I place the pattern on the fabric and pin both together to secure it. Then I marked five inches at the crease line. And why I did that at the crease line is because I want to know the center of where my sleeve is. I also want my sleeve to be longer. I measured the widest part of my sleeve from the center line. Then the measurement I got, I brought it down. And because I want my sleeve to be fuller, I'm going to add extra two inches. This will give the sleeve more volume. That's why I'm adding the two inches. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the other part of the sleeve. Then I added half inch sewing allowance to the two sides and also to the cap height. Then I connected all together. Now our sleeve is ready, we can cut it out now. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you've not done so. Also put up your notification bell to get notified if I put up any new video. I'm going to be stitching the pieces together so you might want to stick around to watch it. Um, see you in the next tutorial. Bye.